In this video, I would like to show how to install Haskell in FreeBSD, how to configure Vim for the Haskell language support, and I would like to show to write, how to write um, an initial program, compile it and run it. Okay, let's do this. The first thing we need to do is to install the required packages. We do this by changing to user, to root, and we'll be requiring gmake, uh, curl, uh, gcc, lib econv, lib um, ff5, 33, uh, gmp, and curses, Perl 5, Compat 13x, MD 64. Okay. Let's install these packages. So the libraries are now installed. I exit root, I need my regular user, and I will install GAC up. For that, I write curl proto https equals https tlsv1.2 and from get ghcup asker dot um, org looks okay before uh, installing anything in your system you should definitely read uh, whatever comes out and then pipe it to sh so here uh, welcome to Haskell, it's going to install JC up, JC, Cabal, Stack and HLS, which we want. So enter to proceed. Mm -hmm. uh, detected bash, do you want to automatically add the required path? Yes, please. So prepend. Do you want to install the language server? That's what we are here for. Yes, uh, the default here, do you want to enable VET integration? For sure, just press enter. And now it will take a little bit of time. Okay, Haskell is now installed in the system. Let's try it out. I'm going just to open a new console and just try GHCI. Beauty. Print hello world. Okay, looks fine. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the dependencies to uh, work uh, to configure Vim plus the Haskell language server. So we need SU and those dependencies will be git and believe it or not npm node uh, 21. When I install git I always like to install also the git GUI. It's a nice frontend. Okay, so now the dependencies are installed. So, so let's install VimPlug. Uh, VimPlug uh, is um, uh, a plugin manager for Vim that allows to install external plugins. We install VimPlug with curl.
typed in wrongly, so now we should be fine. Let's do the first configuration. So in the .fimrc file, the first thing is we need to do a call plug uh, begin tilde slash um, fim plugged and we need also the end part In the meantime, there is no plugin installed, but just to confirm, plug install. Okay, it's working. And now we install the plugin. So plug neoclide coc dot nvim. and plug install. It looks fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is again to quit Vim and do coc install coc-json looks fine and coc config now we uh, can set up the Haskell language server here as a JSON file so the first thing I'm going to write is language server You can see it's already doing its magic. Haskell. Let's open the brackets here and close it there. Command we're going to use, let's see, <clears throat> Haskell language server wrapper. We can take it from here. And the arguments are going to be uh, LSP root patterns everything cabal. Uh, stack yaml cabal.project and he dot yaml we still need to configure the file types which is going to be haskell and l haskell So it seems that I missed something in the configuration. So let's see. COC configure. C configure. And it complains here about something missing property file types. And I misspelled here. Okay. Now let's uh, fire up another terminal. The Haskell language server is there. Theme test. 
and everything looks fine. It's working already. Let's try to compile this program. GHC uh, test.hs. Let's zoom out a little bit. This is an error that is appearing. I'm not 100% sure why is this, but we can get rid of that with the um, option for the linker. See exec stack, exec stack. Compiles without problems. Let's just make sure that this was fine. So we only have our Haskell file and we compile it again. Beauty. Okay. And we have our hello world. Now let's try to do things a little bit uh, standardized within Haskell. For that we create a Cabal file. Uh, for the Cabal file there are a couple of things that need to be pre-configured. Cabal version. I'm going to use 2.4, seems to work. Name, I'm going to name the program test. And it requires a version. I'm going just to write 001. We need to define an executable. That's going to be test. Name is test.hs ghc options we need to say uh, main is it's going to be under the module test and we can put op option for the linker c exec stack like we did before build depends we're going to use base bigger equal to 4.19.0.0 the source files are in the local directory and we're going to use Haskell 2010. Haskell, ha Haskell has two L's. So now we're getting a problem with dependencies because our GHC version, which is uh, 948, uh, doesn't have the base necessary for this. So in this case, we're going to go and GHC GACUP to the text user interface and we're going to see that I required the 914.00 something better uh, more uh, something later than this it's uh, powered by the Haskell language server so we are fine we're going to go currently to the latest what is currently the first tick means it's installed so the X means it's not installed and the second tick means it's the default. So we need to install here. Let's just see above here. GHC up or GHC UP is the latest one. Stack is currently at the latest one. The Haskell la language server also at the latest one. Cabal also. And here we just need to press I for install. It's going to download GHC version 9.8.2, the latest one, as of the recording of the video. So it has downloaded now and uh, has installed uh, GC version 982 
and we just need to set it as a default. Success, so pressing S. Now we have the two check, the two checks here. Let's just see, GHC version 982. Let's try to compile again, Kaba build. And I'm expecting still some slight problems. Dependencies can now be solved because we are sitting on the right version. But now we have some small problems. Yes, there is no module named test. Let's solve that. Test.hs module test is like this. Looks good. Cabal run. Hello world. Okay, let's just do a small test. Number of words is going to be a function that is going to give, take an, a string and going to give us a list of integers. Number of words uh, on some input can be implemented as map. Um, we're going to map, uh, what are we going to map? We're going to map the lines on the input. Uh, and what are the, is the function? We're going to map the length of the applied to words. So here uh, we're going to say, um, the content of the file is going to be read file test uh, txt and then we're going to print the n words n words on the content looks fine for me cabal build cat test.txt cabal run so we have nine values as we counted we have here seven we have three words then we have again seven one two three four five six seven we have five one two three four five this line has five words two words one word. Looks like this is working. This is all for today. Bye bye.